Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and look what I have here, the Motorola Droid X to review. So, it's just fresh off the FedEx truck, I haven't even opened the box yet. So, let's go with this. Dun. There it is, the Motorola Droid X. I'm going to let you savor this as I uh, just give you the, the quick outside tour here. So I want to take pictures of this with the, uh, with the um, sticker on the screen. So I'm going to do two videos, probably one dealing with the uh, startup so you can see what it looks like. So the bottom edge doesn't seem to have anything. And so the right edge here has the camera shutter button. There we go. Nice feel to it. Double detent. Um, here's the volume buttons. And here's the power button and the headphone jack and one of the microphones. And on this side you have nothing until you hit the micro USB port and the HDMI port. And then you have a lanyard, a lanyard um, attachment. And that's it. And uh, so down here you have the main microphone and uh, the menu, home, back, and search keys. And up here you have the speaker grill or uh, earpiece grill, as it were. And I'm not sure if there's any LEDs behind there, but we'll find out. In the back, start at the bottom, you got another microphone and a speaker, I think battery door which is covered in shiny plastic and here is the 8 megapixel autofocus camera with mechanical shutter and dual LED flash which handles 720p video recording so that's really really hot and exciting um, let me show you what's in the rest of the box and then I'll pull out some other phones and we can do size comparison but still I'm gonna let you enjoy this Actually, let me see if I can pop the battery cover quickly. There we are. So there's the battery cover, and you can see the battery is already inserted. It's a BH5X. And let's see if there's a capacity anywhere Not on the front. So here's a little tab to pull the battery out. And here's the 16 gigabyte micro SD card inserted. So let's see what happens if I pull the tab. Ta da! And I hide the numbers down here, but let's have a look at the back and see what the current rating is on this battery. It's 1540 milliamp hour or 1500, not sure. But as you can see, it's a pretty sizable battery. So that's pretty cool. Here you have, uh, you can see the micro SD slot and do not cut, which is basically the, uh, there we go, the little tab to pull. And this is a metal door. Um, and apparently, I think it goes in the way I had it there. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of the box as you can see it it's a really small box here my hands and um it's just basically a little bit of room to the left of the uh the phone and what we have here are a usb data cable can't see the other end of it there it is micro usb obviously we have a charger standard Motorola charger and that's it the rest is just paperwork um, getting started nothing in the back well maybe something for more help and getting started in Spanish important customer information 
and consumer information for radio frequency emissions and responsible driving. Don't text and drive, guys. And finally, product safety and warranty information. Two languages. So that's what's in the box. Now let's do a size comparison. And I know the first thing you want comparison with is the Evo. So let me just grab that quickly. Here's the Evo. And as you can see, it's a little narrower, but a lot taller than the Evo. As far as thickness goes, it's Let's see here, let me bring it a little closer so you can see. As you can see, the Evo is quite a bit thicker overall, but the, the bump on the Droid X is thicker than the Evo's girth, I think, yeah. So it's a thin phone except for the little bump, which doesn't seem to be a big deal. It's also really well balanced, surprisingly. What else do I have to compare to? The iPhone 4. Let's see if I can get that out. Sorry, I should have prepared this a little better, but I was excited with the FedEx truck just showing up. Here's an iPhone 4. As you can see, it, it really dwarfs the, the iPhone 4. Um, but in thickness, we're looking at very similar, just maybe a, a smidgen thicker. Remember that the iPhone does have the glass on top and the bottom that you can't the, the stainless steel band kind of gives you the illusion that there's no glass, but it's there. And then, um, what it looks like from the back. Let me, let me go get an incredible, quickly. And there it is. This is the incredible now. So this is the previous droid. I don't have a, a regular droid to show you guys, unfortunately. But you can see the size difference here. And size difference. And of course, the thickness. Let's see if I, there we go. So the draw, the incredible is, is about the same. They're about the same. And uh, finally, uh, let's uh, pull out the Nexus One. Because, you know, the Nexus One is still the king of the hill in the sense that it has the latest software. So again, I wasn't very prepared, but here it is. Here's it, it's next to the Nexus One. And as you can see the size and the back. And thickness is about the same except for the bump. So yeah, um, and then, you know, here we have basically the Evo, the Incredible, and the Droid X all lined up. So you can get an idea of what it looks like. So that's pretty much it. I'm uh, going to make another video where I f for first start for this phone. And uh, I'll share that with you when I get a chance. Right now, I'm just really excited about having one and taking pictures of it. So, give you a few more seconds of uh, outside view here before I wrap this up. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That screen is gigantic, for sure. Let me hold it the other way. There we go. All right. This is Tank Girl for Tank Girl Mobile. Uh, the blog is at uh, tnkgrl.wordpress.com. This is the Droid X from Motorola and Verizon. I'm going to be reviewing this, especially the camera, so keep an eye on my blog. Again, Tank Girl Mobile, tnkgrl.wordpress.com. Cheers.